Today is, of course, Veterans Day, a time we stop to thank those who served our country. There are several ceremonies planned for across the tri-state. Some of them will look a little different, of course, because of our pandemic. WCPO 9 News reporter Ali Kramer is live this morning with a look at how different communities will be honoring our veterans. Good morning, Ali. Good morning, Julie. We are live out here in Claremont County this morning in Union Township specifically. This should look familiar. Uh, Veterans Memorial Park. They always host a beautiful Veterans Day ceremony and today will be no different. It will be socially distanced. We'll be outside a meet and greet between 10 to 3 and then a sort of smaller ceremony to recognize those veterans who are able to be here around 1 o'clock. But uh, you know, everyone's kind of shifting things around a little bit to still be able to honor our veterans today. Uh, but of course, keeping them safe as well and that's why things are going to look a little different at the Warren County Career Center. They hold an, an annual breakfast for veterans every year this year. Uh, it will be a little different. The junior and senior culinary students are still going to be prepping the food for breakfast for area veterans, but they'll be handing it out to go. The drive through breakfast runs from 830 to 10 this morning and students are ready and excited to still be able to thank our local veterans just a simple way to get veterans to be able to come to our campus and get a little treat and, um, you know, have a way to thank them um, despite all that's going on. Now, those students still really looked forward to that breakfast and wanted to uh, be able to do just uh, a little something for our veterans. And you know what? The ceremonies continue really across the tri-state, both in northern Kentucky and up in Butler County. We're going to tell you about a really special one um, that has been Scaled down a little bit, but still has room if you don't have plans today. We'll tell you about that coming up at 630. But for now, reporting live in Union Township, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.